Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. Are you ready to make some Dollar Tree DIYs? <laughs> I'm so excited. If you like it, don't forget to press thumbs up button. Also subscribe to my channel because you don't want to miss out any future DIYs coming up, okay? <laughs> Let's get started. And if you are wondering about the big beautiful wreath in the background, I had just made it in the previous video. It's hard to tell, but I used an evergreen base. I loved it. Make sure you look it up if you haven't seen that video. For the first DIY, we are going to make a chalkboard menu using a Dollar Tree sign. You're gonna need some chalk, a chalk marker, pencil, and a printout of my page, or you can take an easy route, free-handed, or use stickers. You can also find some great graphics on Google search. Uh, so I cut out a printout, sheet it in the back with the chalk, attach it to my chalkboard, and outline all the letters. I outline with a pencil, and then when I lift it up, ta-da! The lettering has transferred on the chalkboard, and all I have to do now is take my chalk marker and fill in certain letters. You still use your printout, to follow as a guide. I had actually shared this trick with you three years ago, actually, around the same time. Please comment down below and let me know if you had seen this video back then. I wonder who's been with me that long. I'm gonna use the same technique to transfer these cute little drawings on my chalkboard. Again, I'm gonna post all these graphics in my private group, My DIY Besties on Facebook, or of course, you can freehand these. Uh, these are pretty simple. I'm just not great at drawing, especially small pictures like that. That's why I'm doing this. Look how cute that cupcake came out, right? <laughs> it would be very hard for me to do these thin lines with my chalk marker. I just have the $1 chalk marker from the Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to use it to go over the outlines. You know, I'm not really touching up every single detail. And it looks like I have room only for one more, so I'm going to transfer the slice of cake right here. And now I like to add the labels, but since my chalk marker is not that thin, um, I thought I'll try this trick. I just uh, put some chalk on the back of a strip of paper, and now I'm just going to write on it with a pencil. And when you lift it, your handwriting will be transferred in a thin line um, font. Take a look at that. See what I mean? You can go back later with your marker and enhance it some more. You can add some scrolls and ta-da! The dessert menu is ready. The problem is we need desserts, right? <laughs> well, we're getting there. Stay tuned. But first, our menu needs a pedestal. And you can use an old candlestick holder or you can get one from the Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna upcycle an old one with some spray paint. And how do we attach our sign to it? Well, we're gonna use half a foam ball from the Dollar Tree, attach it with hot glue, paint it black, add a popsicle stick in the back of the sign, insert it in, add some hot glue, and voila! And now, of course, we want to decorate. We're going to use some coordinating ribbon and make a very simple bow. We are measuring a 6-inch tail pinch. Measure 10 inches. That's a 5-inch loop. Maybe a little bit too small. Let's measure 11 fold in half. That's a 5.5-inch loop. 11. And that's a second loop. And we're going to chop the tails. Just a simple bow like that. We are going to use a pipe cleaner to tie it together and just fix it up. Two loops, two tails, regular ribbon bow. And we are going to make another one on top of it, maybe a slightly smaller. A five inch tail, 10 inches folded in half, that's five inch loops. And uh, yes, and let's attach it on top. That's going to be perfect. I love the pop of the black and white, you know me. <laughs> I especially like the stripe 
with the pop of red hearts. I think it's just perfect for our menu sign here. And again, you know, just fluff up your tails and loops and bring that pipe cleaner to the back. Oh, and we have to cut the fishtails too. Just fold each end in half and cut diagonally uh, towards the wired edge. Since we have a foam ball there, I like to use a U-pin to attach my uh, bow. So I cut off the pipe cleaner in the back and uh, add some hot glue and insert a U-pin in the bowl. And isn't that pretty already? <laughs> um, as you can tell, the sign is one-sided. Uh, we do have a little bit of ribbon left over. So what I'm gonna do is still make a cute little bow and put that in the back. So let's see, we have not enough of the red one. So we're gonna start off with the black and white. Make a simple bow like we did before. Cut that off and add that strip of red in the back, just like so. Not enough to make a loop, <laughs> but it's okay. We're gonna make it work. Tie it with a leftover pipe cleaner, fluff it up, cut some fishtails. Still a cute little bow. We are going to use a U-pin and attach it in the back of our sign, just like so. And you might ask, Kathy, what's the point of the bow in the back? This is just one sided sign. Well, not really. You can still see the sides, right? Maybe not 360 view, but 240. <laughs> you see what I mean? Uh, it really adds to the look. I love it. We can decorate it even further with some Dollar Tree new items. That is if Tweety doesn't steal everything. <laughs> And you can also use any leftover picks from Christmas, like this eucalyptus, for example. The little rosettes are actually clips, so it's really easy. Just put it in the center of your bow. Look how cute. And um, these hearts are also clips, but I have only one. <laughs> they were sold out. I got too late to my store, so I have to just split it apart. Same with the eucalyptus, you know, just cut it in small pieces and insert it around your bow. If your pedestal has any designs, you can use a chalk or a paint and enhance those designs. And here's the look at the finished result. I hope you like it. I think it makes a really cute decor piece, not just for Valentine's, but maybe for your kitchen or your sweet dessert table for your next party. I really like it. If you like it too, please give me those little heart emojis. What a wonderful surprise from my bestie Martha from North Carolina. Look at all the wonderful goodies she had sent me. Wow, what a pretty ribbon. Look at all that. And you know what? I was looking for pink and red deco mesh. I haven't seen it anywhere. Wow, I'm so happy. And the lights, looks like I got everything here to make a beautiful wreath and more. And what else is here? Let's see. Wow, bestie's heart. <laughs> like I said in my last video, I really feel like they made that heart for us based on the wreath that we made last year. And oh my goodness, uh, Martha says when she saw it, she thought of me and I'm just so touched. I cannot thank you enough. You are so kind and so sweet. Didn't have to do that. I truly appreciate it and I'll treasure everything. Thank you so much. Martha is the bestie who suggested that I should get a cat. <laughs> she used to have a bird and the cats and they used to get along, eat from the same bowl. Well, Tweety tries to take bath in Coco's bowl, but guess what? She chases her away real quick. 
<laughs> For the next DIY, let's just say it's dessert time. Lala, it's dessert time. We are going to need the round container from the Dollar Tree and some felt in your favorite colors. I pick pink and white. And just to show you, look at this pink on the left is from Hobby Lobby. The one from Walmart is much thinner. Same price, better deal at Hobby Lobby. For this project, you can use all these pretty trims that Dollar Tree now sells, like this heart ribbon lace. Isn't it gorgeous? I couldn't believe they have that for a dollar. Also new is this pom-pom garland, or maybe you have leftover from Christmas, the pom-pom trim. I will use both. Also, have you seen these felt flowers, hearts, stickers, any other table scatter they called, but so many cute little shapes and even a cake topper. What? Wait a minute. <laughs> Somebody's getting too comfortable over here. What are you doing, Coco? This is my felt over here. What are you thinking? That this is so comfy like your blanket? I don't think so. You gotta get up. <laughs> what a stubborn dog. Take off the lid, put the container face down and uh, measure your felt to size, cut it. And we are going to cover the container with felt, just like so. All right, and now we will continue with the second half. So one sheet of felt is enough to cover the container all around. And for the top, we are going to need a second piece. I'm going to use white. Just trace around and cut out the circle, glue it on top. Trim away if anything sticks out. I'm not worrying about being so perfect as I have all these trims that I'm going to glue around the edge. And as you can see, I'm attaching the heart lace around the top and cut it off when done. And as you can see, I don't have that much lace left. So really they don't give you much for your dollar. <laughs> At the top, I'm attaching the white pump and ribbon and I did it at the bottom as well. And I'm so sorry. I don't know what happened. It didn't record, but you can figure it out how I attached it here, right? To decorate the sides, we are going to use the felt stickers and I'm just playing around to see how I want to do it. And once I'm happy with the placement, I peel the stickers and attach them. I, of course, want to cover the seams on the side first. And um, I have to tell you that these stickers hold up very well. I didn't have to use hot glue. Uh, there's three sizes of hearts. I decided to use the large and small. I left out the medium and also pink hearts. Well, except <laughs> the way I spaced it out, two same colors would be next to each other. So in one spot, I decided to add those pinks. Other than that, I alternated just red and white. And I hope that it starts looking like a cake. <laughs> All we need is a cherry on top now. And uh, we have a topper, so let's start with that. We're going to trim the pick because we don't need it that long. And we have some felt roses, cute little hearts, you know, play around with the placement, see how you like it. And once you're happy, you're going to glue everything in. I actually decide to pull off some pumpkins of that garland and add them around the cake like little cherries on top. <laughs> And in order to glue in that cake topper, I'm going to use the little pom-pom. It has a hole in it, which is perfect. Just add some glue in it and that makes a better stand there. We are going to use some hot glue, attach it in the center, hold it for a minute. And then, uh, of course, support that topper with the roses and a couple hearts so it holds up well there. I didn't really want to poke a hole in my container, but that's an option as well. How adorable is that heart lock? 
is just too cute and it even comes with the keys i just can't that <laughs> that's the cutest thing ever there's a big key too i thought it was a bit too big so that's the key for my heart <laughs> and isn't it too funny that we just did the wreath with the keys and now we get keys everywhere <laughs> so why don't you comment the key emojis if you think it's so cute Feel free to decorate it further. This is all sugar-free, zero calories. <laughs> and still looks adorable and yummy, right? <laughs> I hope you had enjoyed this fake bake. Um, Mess-free. And so on the budget, I don't think I spent more than $8 here. And it's gonna make a beautiful, long-lasting piece of home decor. Also makes a great photo prop too, right? <laughs> And then I decide to add some pearls, just using my tweezers to glue these on. And let me tell you, I'm having so much fun here. I never knew that fake baking was so therapeutic. <laughs> I knew real baking was. I encourage you to try it. I also have a good a real cake on my channel. It's called the Hidden Heart Cake. It's so much fun. Great surprise for your family when they cut it open. Uh, so if you're interested, you can look up that recipe. I'll provide a link for you in the description box below. So the pearls turn out to be the prettiest sprinkles. I guess that's why we have edible pearls too, right? <laughs> and you know what? This is not even the best part. Remember the lid that came with this container? Well, let me show you what we're gonna do here. Dollar Tree sells new this year, these hard pedestal candle holders. They're so cute. I got them in pink and white as well. And I'm going to use the E6000 and hot glue combination to attach it together. And ta-da! Look at this adorable cake stand for less than $2 because I can't even say two because we use majority of that container for the cake. All we have to do now is glue the cake to the top and voila! Is that a wow or what? For the next DIY, we are going to make the strawberries. I knew there was a reason why I'm saving this old chocolate box. Tell me if you do that too. You get a nice box of chocolates, you eat them, but then you feel bad about throwing out a nice box, right? <laughs> so we're gonna repurpose it today. So you get a bag of strawberries uh, when it's on sale at Hobby Lobby for $3, some cupcake liners, brown paint. There's actually one that's called chocolate. It's 50 cents at Walmart, glossy Mad Patch, and puffy paint from the Dollar Tree and some of those little foam beads because life is better with sprinkles, right? <laughs> You're also going to need a piece of foam and some toothpicks. And it looks like um, my naughty bird is taking care of the toothpicks already. Tweety! Oh, don't even think about it. <laughs> Imagine if Tweety Bird tossed these in the fire over there, start a campfire. No, 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 you naughty bird! So we pick some strawberries and now we are going to mix some chocolate. You're simply going to mix a little bit of brown paint with the glossy Mad Patch, mix it well together to create this delicious looking chocolate. <laughs> We're going to insert a toothpick at the top of the strawberry so it's easy to hold. And we're going to dip it in a cup, twirl it around and Ta-da! Delicious looking strawberry. Look at that. And this is a milk chocolate color. If you have a little bit darker paint, it might look even better, I think. I think uh, it came out pretty good, even though Tweety Bird kept jumping on my arm and shaking it. <laughs> and let me tell you, I was tempted a few times to lick my fingers. <laughs> 
So you keep dipping your strawberries and letting them dry on the piece of foam board. And uh, you can decorate them with sprinkles if you like or anything else cute that you have. And there's the curious body. I know she wants those sprinkles. Sure, jump, why not? <laughs> I think I put a little bit too much over here. You can't shake them off because they get stuck in chocolate. And when the brown chocolate dries, you can use your white chocolate or the white puffy paint and draw the designs across. Note, I'm holding my uh, strawberry in the air when I do that. That way you have pretty sides. That's a trick that I learned with my real strawberries. <laughs> You see, it all applies here. <laughs> Let it dry and let's work on the backs in the meantime. We can replace the ribbon with a nice lace from the Dollar Tree. First, I'm running a strip across and gluing it on both sides on the inside and then making a nice bow and gluing that on top and covering any logo that's there. We are going to top it off with a cute little rose, another great find from the Dollar Tree. Next, let's add our cupcake liners. Uh, looks like I can fit only three, unfortunately, but look at that strawberry, how glossy that is. That's because of the glossy matte patch. Remember to get the glossy, not matte. And here's the one with the sprinkles, all dry. So cute too. I think the gold beads go perfect with my backs. You try to coordinate that with yours, okay? And this one's still a bit wet, but I'm going to be gentle and let's see, we have to glue everything in. Just checking around which side is the prettiest and glue on the opposite side. And oh my goodness, take a look at these. Don't they look good enough to eat? <laughs> and then I decide to fill in the empty spaces with some crinkle paper. And here's the look at the final result. I think I have to add a warning label so my family doesn't eat them. <laughs> My goodness, I would hate for this chocolate to go to waste. Yummy, 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 yummy. Mew, mew, ice cream. Why not? Let's make some cute ice cream cups. Uh, we're gonna use these three foam balls from the Dollar Tree, some cups, and some delicious looking paints. <laughs> I paint mine vanilla, strawberry, and chocolate. You pick your favorite flavors, okay? <laughs> I know the real ice cream scoops are not so perfect, but this is just such an easy method and they fit perfectly in those little Valentine's cups. Look at that. The only thing that's missing here now is whipped cream and cherry on top, right? <laughs> well, I'm gonna turn here to an expert, my friend Crystal with Glitz and Glue. I've been watching her for a while, but I never tried fake baking with Spackle before. I will provide a link to her professional instructions in the description box below and let's see if I can do this. I got some lightweight spackle at a Dollar Tree, white paint for whipped cream, you can use a different color if you like, my old piping bag with some star tips, uh, you can get a piping bag at a Dollar Tree. We start off by adding the white paint and mixing the spackle mixture. Mix it well. Next, transfer it to the bag using the glass. It's much easier that way. Squeeze it down, 
wrap the bag around your finger and let's do this. How hard could it be, right? <laughs> just kidding. I don't know what I'm doing, guys. What do you think? <laughs> this is just whipped cream, so I'm just going to have fun with it. What the heck? I'm not even sure if my spackle is the right consistency. It seems maybe a little bit dry uh, because, I don't know, more paint? <laughs> anyway, came out pretty cute. I'm going to sprinkle it with some glitter. And what else? We're going to use that chocolate, right? I put it in a bag, cut a hole. Of course, Tweety jumps on my arm at that moment. <laughs> it could have gone so wrong. <laughs> anyway, we're going to top it off with the chocolate dip strawberry. Let me just move that toothpick to the side. Uh, let's trim it a little bit. It's too long. And I'm going to insert it down the cupcake all the way down to the bowl. Yeah, that's going to stay in place. And look at that. Delicious. <laughs> And for the other two, I'm just going to add little cherries on top. I mean, Christmas berries. I'm just looking for the bigger one. Uh, cutting it off with a green stem so it looks more like a cherry. And I'm just going to stick it on top. Let's see which side looks better. Ta-da! So cute. Feel free to decorate even further with sprinkles. I want to add those cute little hearts. I'm just trimming off the sticks and inserting them in and they remind me of those powdered candy like conversation hearts and they coordinate perfectly here, right? <laughs> we need another stand. I'm going to take the pink pedestal now, a glass plate from the Dollar Tree, use some E6000, put one on top of the other and look at that. Isn't that adorable? I don't know if I ever told you that I'm obsessed with the cake stands. I just can't stop buying them. This pink one I just found at the Target Dollar Spot for only $5. Amazing. I got the red one last year. Look how pretty. $5 too. How can you not take it? It's actually similar to the one we made today, right? <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's display our ice cream cups right here. You know what? That plate has raised sides. I wish it was completely flat, but it's still adorable. Oh, I love it. And maybe we could put a doily. Um, no, pink one. Yep. And now I just have to keep this away from my naughty bird. Speaking of the devil. Did I tell you I have all this whipped cream left over? I might as well make a milkshake. Strawberry vanilla flavor. <laughs> Paint the inside of your glass strawberry. Let it dry. And then finish painting with some vanilla up top. Let it dry. And then let's add some strawberry dipping dots around the rim. Simply add some hot glue and dip in the Dollar Tree foam beads. Don't they look delicious like those uh, dipping dots? <laughs> Let's cover this up with a piece of the spool, rib, old ribbon spool. We're just going to glue it on top. Then we are going to glue like an iced tea cup on top as well. And we're going to cover this up with the whipped cream. And again, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just going around and dipping here and there. But in the end, I think it looks pretty realistic, right? I sprinkle it with glitter and I wish you could see the sparkle. It is just too cute. Let me tap it with some leftover chocolate fudge and oh my goodness, this could go so wrong so fast. <laughs> tap it with the strawberry and oh my goodness, so delicious. <laughs> we need a straw. The one with the hearts is perfect. Let's just trim it and insert it on the side and a few candy hearts maybe here and there and enjoy. <laughs>
And the last quick DIY is going to be a sign with the cute sticker from the Dollar Tree and just a framed picture, which I just realized doesn't have a glass. So I just turned it around and I'm going to make it work. Actually, need to squeeze these uh, letters in a little bit, but I think it works out. Chocolate doesn't ask silly questions. Chocolate understands. How funny is that? And I love the Raydan inspired font. I thought maybe it was a little bit plain, so I just used the leftover ribbon that I have. It was just enough to make a three loop bow and I attach it here with hot glue at the top. And just like that, we got a beautiful tabletop sign for only $2 and some change. Coordinates perfectly with the sweet decor, not just for Valentine's, but any dessert table. Great conversation starter, right? Looking at my menu, by the way, I'm missing some donuts here and my donut shop is closed at the moment. If you like to see how I made the donut wall and the awning, the whole donut station, feel free to look up this video. And today I'm just gonna take an easy route, take a donut ornament, chop off the hanger and add that to my display. Please take a look how it all came together. I hope you like it. Right, my besties so this is it for today thank you so much for watching i hope you had enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you press thumbs up button also subscribe to my channel that way we will be in touch and you won't miss any of my future diys okay thanks so much see you next time bye bye